Hello, I'm Dr. Rick Green, a surgeon from Charlotte, North Carolina. It is a pleasure to introduce this wound care program developed by your healthcare team and patients and sponsored by the American College of Surgeons. The wound care program, including videos, booklet, and checklists, will teach you how to care for your wound. Use the skills checklist inside the back cover of the booklet to guide you through the steps in your care. Your feedback is important, so please complete the patient evaluation form by mail or online. I wish you all the best for your recovery. This program will educate you about cleaning your wound that is closed with sutures, also called stitches, staples, steri strips, or tissue adhesive. Many wounds will heal on their own with basic first aid care. To clean your wound, take off jewelry, wet and wash hands that are visibly dirty with soap, and water for 15 to 30 seconds. Use a 60% alcohol-based hand gel if hands are not visibly dirty. Soak clean gauze or a cloth with soap and water and dab around the staple or suture line to remove dried blood or drainage. The incision line is the least contaminated, so start there and clean outward away from the wound. Dry the area completely with clean gauze or towel, dabbing around the sutures or staples. You may usually keep the area open to air if the staple or suture line is not draining. Repeat cleaning around the wound site daily. You should be able to shower 24 to 48 hours after sutures or staples are in place if your health care provider approves. Let the water run on the wound to completely rinse the soap away. If you have a scalp wound that has been closed with sutures or staples, you should be able to shampoo your hair gently and rinse. Try not to let water pool around the wound and pat gently with a towel to dry. Your doctor should advise you when to come back to get the sutures or staples removed. The timing varies depending on the wound location. If there is any drainage or signs of infection from the wound, let your health care provider know. Sutures or staples in areas of the body that require a lot of movement may need to stay in place longer. If your wound was closed with sutures or staples, there will usually be a scar. Apply sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or higher to the wound after it has healed. Sun protection may help reduce red or brown discoloration and help the scar fade faster. Although no scar can be completely eliminated, most scars fade over time. Skin closure strips are often referred to as steri strips. They are sterile tape strips reinforced with polyester that are used to hold the wound edges closely together. Wound closure strips should be kept dry for the first 24 hours. Ask your doctor if you can shower after that, but do not soak in a tub or pool until the wound is healed. Do not use creams or ointments over the wound or strips. This may cause them to fall off and the wound can reopen. Steri strips will usually fall off by themselves after seven to 10 days. Tissue adhesive provides a strong, flexible, and water-resistant coating that bonds wound edges together. The adhesive will fall off in about seven days. You can shower, but do not soak your wound in a tub or pool. Be sure to gently dry the wound area. Do not use creams or ointments over the tissue adhesive. This may cause the tissue adhesive to fall off and the wound can reopen. Do not scratch, rub, or pick at the adhesive, and do not put tape directly over the adhesive. Some wounds, like jagged or circular wounds, may not be able to be closed. Other wounds, like puncture wounds, may need to be kept open to drain so they do not become infected. You should keep these wounds moist. Ask your doctor if you need a special dressing, ointment, or a gel to prevent the wound from drying out and forming a scab. Wounds with scabs take longer to heal. Draining wounds should be covered with a primary dressing or bandage to cover and protect the wound. Cover the wound area with a dressing larger than the wound. For large scrapes, sores, burns, or persistent redness, 
Your health care provider should tell you if you need to use a treated or absorbent dressing. Use an adhesive dressing or bandage and change it daily to keep the wound clean while it heals. If you have skin that is sensitive to adhesives, try a non-adhesive gauze pad with paper tape available at a drugstore. Visitors should wash their hands or use a 60% alcohol-based hand gel before and after visiting. Friends and families should not touch your wound or surgical site unless they have been trained to do so. Prevent the wound from reopening by keeping activity in that area to a minimum. Carefully follow your doctor's instructions about wound care. Call your doctor if you experience any of these signs. Increased drainage or bleeding from the wound. Increased swelling or redness around the wound. A foul odor or pus coming from the wound. A fever of 101 degrees or 38.3 degrees centigrade. Wound tissue that changes from pink to white, yellow or black in color. Increased size or depth of the wound. Pain at the site that will not go away even after taking pain medication. A wound that has split open. Or a wound where stitches or staples have come out too soon. If your wound does open, cover it with gauze or a moist clean towel. Call your health care provider immediately for more directions or go to the nearest emergency department.